Totally you just, no, you just stood up. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I just started recording. Hey guys, it's uh, Tech. Welcome to Off the Cuff. Uh, today I've got with me my little brother, and by little I mean he's six foot two and can <laughs> take me in a fight. So uh, he doesn't like me calling him that. But I've brought him to my office today to show him what I have been working on for the last uh, four or five months. Um, it's uh, w the company that I work for. We have been working on getting into high dynamic range video and high dynamic range video color grading. So behind me on this screen, this black one there, that is basically the best display that you can buy today uh, for professional purposes. It is a $30,000 monitor. It is 4K, OLED, high frame rate, and high dynamic range. It's one of two that you can buy that are actually high dynamic range. There's like less than 50 of them out there, and there's one on the desk behind me, and it is amazing. He's heard me talk about this for like two, three months, and um, I, I keep telling him that it's going to revolutionize video. Uh, the big thing is that the high dynamic range, like this display behind me, it uh, makes video look more like real life. It captures the nuances of the lights and the darks that right now standard video can't, that YouTube can't show, that your, your uh, displays can't show, but can eventually get to and become. So it's like a future looking technology. Yeah, we're going to start seeing it. There's a few televisions on the market that can do HDR. Um, you can start buying them. You're going to see it at CES this year. I can't actually show you what he's going to look at because it's going to be shown at CES. And I don't know, even know if I can tell you where at CES, but I will say that life's good. Life's good. Anyway, um, so uh, check that out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch around here and I'm going to film his reaction to it because honestly, it is the best form of video that I have ever seen. It is such a pleasure to work in. Um, I do a lot of color grading and creative applications of technical things. And by far, this has been the most fun, the most educational and most revolutionary thing I've ever seen with displays and images. We're gonna see it in the, in the next five to 10 years, you're gonna see it in theaters, you're gonna see it in home televisions. It's going to replace the existing standards that are built on the old cathode ray tubes that were required by cathode ray tubes, but hey, we don't need uh, to live like that anymore. What is this, the dark ages? Anyway, so we're gonna flip around and uh, he's gonna to get to watch some things and we're gonna watch his reaction. So I'm recording. Here. You can't really see what we're doing in my dark, dingy office. I'm going to fire up this display. On it, I have some footage of uh, some really, really pretty footage. Holy smokes. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. That. My word. This is incredible. That's insane. Look at the corners of the screen. Look I at know. this. That's actually technically not black. That was what I was telling you about earlier. How yeah, it's no, not it's full black, but it still looks like it. That's so cool. Holy cow. That looks like that looks like nothing. Okay. Dang. So this footage was released beautiful. by the people who released it a few year, few weeks ago, and I wanted to do this to the footage, and then I had a good reason to do it, and I am so glad that I got to do this because that is incredible. That is incredible. And this shot's clipped. That shot, the, like all the reds were clipped, and so they actually lost detail in like, the version it, they've oh. given us. But it's still, it's still beautiful. Yeah. Those little, this, this little, like, one here. Let me just skip forward to the end of this shot. Like that detail right in there. <sighs> okay. But this is, hands down, my favorite. This. That is incredible. That is incredible. I mean, there is no, there is no loss. No. This is what a $30,000 display looks like. Uh, I want one. I definitely want one. 
<laughs> yep. That's been the problem. Yep. Every every person that I've shown this to or like anything on this is like I don't know if I can go back to looking at normal. That does not like that does not even compare. There is no comparison. No. There is no comparison. <laughs> like holy cow. Alright, well let's look at um let's look at this shot. No. Where's the one I want? I want this one. Oh gosh, I want to go back to that one. That one. That one. Previous one, not this one. The one you were just looking at. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering what I keep looking at over here, so over here is the, the display he's got the program on, and this is the display that's just showing the footage. And so over here we're seeing what, like, normally it's supposed to look like, and then this is what it actually looks like, and it, there's no comparison. There's no comparison. Oh my... So uh, I really wish we could have shown you what we were looking at um, because of licensing, because of who I'm working for. I can't actually show you any of the images and YouTube just would destroy it anyway because that's what YouTube does. Well, not and, really. And your television screen. That's what your television screen Yeah, does. you actually you actually can't see it. Um, I was reading an article early on and it was asking the question, like, if you don't have a side-by-side, -side, does HDR matter? If you were to answer that, what would you say? Yes, I, I have, I, like, regardless of looking at the side-by-side, -side, though I, I did get to look over at it, I, eventually I just stopped looking at the side-by-side -side because it, it was just, it was just so much to see in the HDR image that was not, I've never seen before. It, it really felt like I was looking not even through a window because glass causes more interference in the light than, than the images that we were looking yeah. at. It, it just looked like I was there actually present in whatever situation it was that the camera was was filming cool so um that's a little bit about how hdr video can shape the future it's, you're going to see it more and more in the upcoming years uh i'm really excited about it it's one of the coolest technologies um because it's forward looking it's not based on the limits of the past it's something that we're going to be aspiring to in the next few years and it's going to get better and better and better we're going to see more movies graded in it we're going to see more uh, content coming out so uh, this year's consumer electronics show in uh, that's 2016 in las vegas january 6th it starts uh, if you have the chance to go check out the hdr booths that are there uh, lg should have one vizio should have one sony should have one panasonic should have one check out their footage um, try and ignore the side-by-side -side and just look at HDR because it is incredible and well worth your time to take a look at it. So until next time, I'm Tech Adams saying keep thinking and thanks for watching. And my little brother, what does he say? What are you going to say? Come on, you got to finish it. Finish oh, it. Finish my uh, video. Finish it. Finish it.